Granny used to tell me all the time Sparks and feet and preparation combined The road been right here all this time But you gotta look with more than your eyes And the small axe Jesse Ryle representing for I just star mindset Rich forever And Majesty just bite him hard and cry. Yeah, but the church turned its back on him who gave him whole life to the church. Yeah, yeah, man. So, but that's a sensitive issue, you know, because you have a whole Rasta man who says firebomb Christianity and firebomb the Bible and all kind of nonsense. Yeah, you hear me? Mm-hmm. But it's really cool, no matter, cool, no matter. Mm-hmm. Do them in Ethiopia. Do them when they know themselves. So, why you don't pay attention to what he must say? When Ethiopia, I tell you, uh, go on. Ethiopia have no book in the Bible when they're in a King James Bible. You know? Not sure. 66 book, not 66 book in a King James, and a 80 books in a Ethiopian natural Bible, where His Majesty have translated to me when I come out of Mm-hmm. Yeah. From geese. So, yeah. So, when I'm talking about um, Bible translate from Hebrew and Greek into English, hey, listen, man. That is a different one. Is. We don't deal with that. We deal with geese and I'm sorry. You understand? All right. So, as I said, that's a personal issue. I'm just saying. Religion is personal and the state is for all, and we love that. Yeah, we not tell no one what to really say. We not tell no one what to do. We not tell no one who to praise. No, and I say I don't have no business telling anyone that. No, I must mm-hmm. leave you alone, because you are my kinsman in spirit. In spirit, we all say the same thing. So let us look at that and be kinsman. Yeah, let's not look at the fleshy side and then become enemies, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, uh, so we deal with it, you understand? Yeah, but we are who we are, and no one can change that, right? So that's all that by us. So the Christian church, in giving Solomon Wolf a name, to go to Ethiopia, gave him the name, Marcos Silasi, it's like they, 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 they unite the two men, then Marcus Gavi and Silasi, in a one and give him name to Salah. So Salah is Marcus Silasi. And don't you know that Salah do the work of, of Marcus Gavi and no one don't know in protect the land grant and then eventually in, in get a de- development plan for the land grant and present it to the Ethiopian government and the Ethiopian government accept it, accept it until Salah say hurry up and come back and we'll uh, get busy from this they love it but ever since then you know we well, I mean, you know, you know, you know we're wrong with it yeah we tell it to all kind of Rasta you know what kind of name but the famous Rasta involved the most famous Rasta involved and we tell them what we are set. We tell them what we need. We need the community to come together so that we can reason. And then what we can collectively decide what to do to move the program forward. Can the program reach the stage of it has been presented to the children? I mean, it just be all be it. Yes, I. Yes, I. Um... Yeah. This is where more of ask the eye. Um, why, why did, why did Rasta then rejected the church? I, I, I know you said the church um, gave up on His Majesty, or turned their back on, on, on the king. But before mm-hmm. that, why, why did Rasta in a Jamaica now rejected the church? 
Because the church rejected Rasta. That was a, that was a sign that they had a law in New York which said no Rasta man can come to church. See. Yeah, that was a law. Yeah, that was a law in the church. We said, Lord and sir, look at this. We can go to a Catholic church, but we can go to our own church. What a shame. And that's how it's safe. In not years, but I think um, all us, which when it become the new Abuna, yeah, in change the law there and tell them, say, no, move with that. Leave the rest of them, them alone. Alright? Okay? But then now, we still have the priests them where really have that kind of um, vibes there. So, where we rest up, we say some things where we know to say in the church. Because you are now, you see, in the church, when the service are gone, I tell you, we deal with it. I say, Jesus Christ, I say everything that I supposed to say in the service. All right. So when do you know? Me there at the church, not not not, not a church there. Me there Wednesday or something like that. I me there at the church. I, you know, just a help out in the little thing where we can do around the office and so. And the, the priest, the eldest priest in the church, older than the head priest. Head priest is Archbishop Yisa, who, who did name um, Mandria, yeah, or something like that. Yeah, uh, him is the head priest, but the mother, who that priest, who we must sign to deal with community affairs. All right. So, me in the church you now, I just do my little help out him, and him said to me, Gabriel Maria, and I name back him, Gabriel Murray, I'm here, man, the servant of the Virgin Mary. And listen, man, I love my name. I want to serve Mary. That's bad for our mother. All right. So, he said to me, say, hey, Gabriel Murray, can you show me Rastafari in the Bible? Because you want me to me moving on. He knows me a Rasta, but he see me in the church, and he wonder how that go. So he said to me, can I show him I um, Rastafari in the Bible? Well, when he said that to me, you know, the first thing that comes to my mind is I leave Selassie's geese, you know. I wonder if it's not the geese Bible. So he said to him, is I leave Selassie the first in the geese Bible? He said, yes. Wow, glad now. He said, is it in the position where Jesus Christ is supposed to be? He said, yes. He said, wow, look at that. I just show you Rastafari in the Bible. And I'm smiling. You know. And there was a man to me, you know, just smile and walk off, leave me. You see? So me, the Rastaman, when you deny my father in the church, but me, not really, do it, do it, you see? No few to come in the church, do it. Them just a ball out to me, I'm Rastafari, Rastafari. Yet in a Christian church, you not know that. Me know that. And that get me in a trouble with them. Yeah, them couldn't take it no more, so them said, ban them. <laughs> so them ban me, you know, me know why, and me know everything, and me know that really get to the church, because me understand the young rest, and them, them, them not take no telling. Right? That's how we stay. So because of that, Rasta will ban them from the church, and then Rasta start leaking against the church them time there. But you don't know, the real Rasta man, right? The real Rasta man, know that the church is right. And I'll do the church run well. We must stop by the church to find out if them win the law fix anything, law fix the roof, the thing you need anything. That's so how we deal with it, you know. Yeah, we go to the church and ask them if they need anything. That the church is the right church. But the wrong people is running the church. Yeah. And that's another issue again. So, we could go on to something else. <laughs> yeah, so, the wrong people are on the church. Yeah. Then turn them back to His Majesty. We know the wrong. Then we reject Christ twice. First time they will crucify Him. The second time they make our friend when him said to them, say, Oh, really think we come on the lamp to the slack at this time? We come as a rule in the lion for judging you know? So you stay there and then you'll disappear from them. You know what I mean? I don't know them no more in there. 
And in there, Lolly Bella in our church with the mountain, you know, at the end there, you know. Yeah, you know, a new name, you know, you know, a new name. No. Abakidus. 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 When we are in the story and them see them say, Majesty, I'm say, no, no more Majesty, I'm now Abakidus. Yeah. Majesty is history that. No more that. Kidus. Yeah. Man. But we can approve them thing man. We just I hear them thing through the great line, you know, just like uh, people see my Ethiopia. Since in bed, you know. People see my Ethiopia, you know. As a matter of fact. The delegation will cause this thing up for really a bubble right now named the Ethiopian World Federation. Is a may have been the delegation go Ethiopia in a 92 and I celebrate the birthday. So one of the celebration them know them go his majesty house while I'm police and buck up on some soldier with gun. And then said to the soldier, I said, let me in no man, let me go look and see what inside look. You know, I don't know anything, no one inside here. And you know, we stay humble, that we reason, you know, we say, oh, uh, uh, yeah, now that we don't look hurt the whole. We just want to see it. And eventually, then they be, all right. No. When I tell you about now writing our book, you know, yeah, if you write in our book, who should I write a book about that visit? And I think I'm maybe either, you know, either I have enough to do with it. All right. You know the book it says? Uh, I think it's maybe two of them get letty. Two them. And then go in and run it to up and with them. The tree. So when them go on the car and uh, <laughs> And buck up on his majesty. <laughs> buck up on his majesty. And his majesty just look on them and we around and just gone about in business and gone in another part of the palace. And the three of them stand up there, look on them one another and say, I'm going to see them just a while ago. Yeah, them couldn't believe it, right? And the, 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 the daughter now, she start to cry. And she cry, you know, all day, all night, all day, all night, come on the plane, all day, all night, Lana Jamaica, all day, and she stop cry at night. So she start to cry from she sees majesty, until she reach a Jamaica, all back in the book. Yeah. So me I wonder is where Rasta deal with it and know them thing that where them a where them are keep it secret from. You understand? Cause them thing are unbelievable. Yeah. But it's true. So yeah man, you know, you are one to buck up his majesty from time to time. As a matter of fact, Ethiopian government, you know. Said to Salah one time, Mr. Will, his majesty is around. You know. And Salah said, yeah, oh, you know. Well, I don't really know any of the people seen from time to time. I can't tell you if I'm in the north, the south, the east, the west. I can't tell you where he is, what he is there. But people keep seeing him and telling us. And I know that they are talking the truth. All right, so the government that talked to Salah that, you know. Yeah, he tell Salah, say, well, I'm on your feet. Yeah, man, you know where you are talking about that, that they must say, right? So, these are all the things I want, right? But what we want to talk about now is what we really belong to all black people and that Marcos Selassie is the one responsible for telling us about it. And then now we are the ones who are responsible for making it happen. The man in the street, the woman in the street. So, yeah. and then we, we will get the help from everyone that we need. This is my question um, to the I know. Where where is um where is the organization in terms of um the the, the, the land grant now in in Shashamani? Um how, how that is being uh, operated at present. Well 
what I will say is this. On the page that Solomon wrote, believe that we can go and look at. He is telling us that there is an enemy in the Ethiopian World Federation. And the enemy is operating right next to us as a friend. And some of us phone up the enemy and turn against Salah. All right. On the tape, he mentioned where the enemy come from. Yeah. And I can tell you this. That enemy is still there today causing problems in the Federation as a matter of fact. The Federation went and secured a certificate from the Supreme Court. A certificate that certify their election. And then now the Executive Council is certified to represent the black race. Right. That was done in the year 2000. All right. They did not support it. They fight against it every step of the way. And seven years later, seven years, 2007, they went to the court. Against the will of the members, they went to the court. Against the will of the members, they went to the court and asked the court to remove the certificate from our executive council. Now, why would they do that? Well, I won't tell you why. One of them said, to spy to know. Yeah, that's why they did it. To spy to know. So who is you know? Black people. You know that? Because you can't spy. I and I will do the work. No, we are spy to it. No. You spy the people who you represent. Yeah. And I got them tell the court, and the court accept them answer and then take away the certificate from me, and then now, them free to go where they want to call themselves headquarters. So when them start to call themselves headquarters, and find out, say, the Federation have a bag of money in the bank account. A <laughs> hundred and fifty thousand dollar bills and stuff. What? We have to go get the money there, and then rush back to get the money. And when them go to the lawyer to get money, the lawyer said to them, say, you see, the certificate where you just give back to the court, yeah, you're going to go get them to give back to you. Otherwise, you can't touch the money there. Because that's who we belong to, the certified headquarters. All right? So that was in 19... No, 2000 nine or somewhere around this so. and until today 2022 none of them is able to go for that money so you have five headquarters right now and none of them can't go for the money but then call themselves headquarters now if me was really responsible for any of them headquarters then eh, i would find out what is it i need to do to go get the money and when I find out, say, the court wants you to do this, that, and the other, so that they can give you the certificate back, and then you can go and get the money, I would do it. Yeah. But these people now are of the opinion that the, the court is Babylon. The court not belong in our business. We can take care of our own business. And they know them operate like that. So it's them certify themselves, you know. Yeah. And it is going on today. So today we have five headquarters. Imagine. Five headquarters. And all of them say the same thing. Them is the right people and the other people is the wrong people. All of them say. But Salah, who represents Shishimani, said, all for one, one for all, working in that manner, there can be no failure. And that's how Salah deal with it. Right. All right. So the um, five headquarters said, yeah, I, I pray thee, my lord. I, I hear what the ayah says still, Zane. I don't, I mean, never want to interrupt the eye, but it does lead me to this question now because something that we see happen currently 
in Ethiopia mm-hmm. where um, a part of the Nyabingi uh, tabernacle was, I think, was destroyed by by um, by by development that was taking place in 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 Shashamani, and which the Nyabingi house also, I think, was was uh, notified that this was going to happen from a longer time to the current point um what what's what's your um what's your thought on it you know being being someone who is part of um um the, the organization of, of of dealing with the land issue in in shashamani what's your what's your um outlook on that oh okay let us look at the origin of it mm-hmm. originally they did not go to the government to tell them that they wanted to build a, a building temple. So that they just chose a place on the land and then kind of land open up. So you can just choose a place, right? And that's what they did. But when they choose the place now, the government become aware of it and then come to them and tell them that that place that you choose is not a good place by the road won't come through there eventually. So it's better you choose a place off the road. All right, and then the government now leave them to themselves. Now, me, I said to myself, now, so me, how kind of reasoning the rest of them have after them get the reasoning from the government? Eh? What kind of reasoning we have? Eh? What kind of reasoning we have most ourselves when we decide well, right now, that a, that, a, that a future business, uh, right now we are dealing with, right? So all that go is a reason in something like that go on. Mm. And then start to build. So that was a mistake from day one, right? But the Ethiopian government love it. You know, business when nobody said, them love it. You understand? And to prove it, them stop whatever action was going on locally and then now is working with the community to resolve the matter. Yeah. And I think them even fix up back some of the tabernacle. I, I'm not sure, but I think so. And then use, use it to celebrate afterwards the uh, um his majesty Earthstrap. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. But the government is working with us. That means uh, if they wrong, they know what we what we deserve. If we wrong, <laughs> we have to rule it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that's the truth. You understand? So we have to look on a hey, not for the elder them, you know. They make some decisions where we would have to look on to the answer. How would they elder you did that be with you? You know. I mean, I know them intelligent, I know them all of that. But where them people do them things by themselves and uh, listen to where other people are saying. You know what I mean? So that is really the question. You know what I mean? So the Ethiopian government, they are dealing with it with us the right way, which is behind closed doors in negotiation privately and not in public. Because we don't want to give the enemies of Ethiopia any excuse to persecute Ethiopia. Mm. No, that's not our job. All right. So we is for Ethiopia. Yeah, man. We come to really bring prosperity to the Ethiopians. That's the, the that's the plan that Solomon will present. You know, it's a prosperity plan for Ethiopia. You know, that you already said. It's a million families. Every family must have their own house and garden on one hectare of land. One hectare of land is two and a half acre, you know. So every family to have them own house and garden on two and a half acre of land and 90% of them people there is local people of Omo and everybody else. And 10% of that is I and I from the diaspora. So in other plan we're the government table 100,000 families from the West is involved in this plan. Yeah. This is not an illusion. This is what it is. All right? 
So we have to go select 100,000 black families from the diaspora in order to fit in with this plan yeah, and then go in and get them house and them garden and then now uh, we will see is this the way to get rid of poverty maybe maybe but it's gonna be hard for us to have poverty in a community like that so our job really right now is to build that community right and we can you know yeah we just need to come sit down together as a family and have a discussion and then now we can decide what we can do to collectively work on this program here yeah man because really what is needed is for the scientists then to go in and do their work what is the scientists then supposed to do they are supposed to go in and survey where the water the light and the transportation road network is gonna come from they must use their scientific ability and locate these different places and then put it in the plan and draft the plan so that we have a plan where we can take to who we want to take it to so that plan that the scientists then must draft up is five scientists urban planner in the bible name master builder moses was an urban planner all right urban planner civil engineer architect environmentalist you know which part the world <laughs> everything else mm -hmm. and a social scientist who will help us to communicate with our people that we have come to help them and we need them to tell us what we should do all right so it's a ceremony right it's called the shimagali and the shimagali it is customary for the ones attending the shimagali to take a gift for the Shimagali, right? So when we hear that we say, oh Lord man, that is our pleasure. We will take a gift for our elders, because the Shimagali is the elders of the community. So the Shimagali, we need to really consider where the diaspora are going home. What kind of gift can we give to our elders? to show them how much we truly appreciate what they have done for us by granting us land and welcoming us home as an equal. What can we give them to show our gratitude for that, right? So in the discussions we have been having, you know, what we come up with is that we the attract a trailer fully loaded with modern farm equipment would really fit the bill because what that would do is give to the elders soon you did it yeah man i'm here you did it? yes sir i'm here and there are you are right? from yeah i'm a bedroom from ethiopia call me you know but i'm not going to answer him now we wait till him 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 just hang up and then we call him back you know what i mean see but i'm a bedroom that i ethiopia call me Okay. Yeah, man. Okay. I already asked you. Um, yeah, I already asked you. Body Yes. So the the tractor trailer with modern farm equipment is like a half a million dollar that for the gift, mm -hmm. and then now we're going to have another half a million dollar for a security bond. Yes. So that's a million dollars right away, and then we need another million dollars to secure the scientists them how long it will take them to do that and then now get the blueprint on the scientific page yeah so it's two million dollar we, we, we say is the budget where we need to get this work started get the scientists then plan the job and give them them assignment as to what we expect them to do when them complete and work all right so what them to do 
is to locate the water light and the road where it ever come from and then now uh, give it to us and we will give it to the government and the government will give their approval and you know what i mean take it step by step yes sir rastafari yeah man yeah we're there, we're... this is a real this is a real development plan that the ethiopian government is expecting us in the diaspora to come and fulfill rastafari yeah man give thanks yes, yes family we're here yes, reasoning um with a member of the ethiopian world federation ronald um pinnacook zane and um he's just giving us um you know a brief historical um run up many would call it run down is the message about running up you know because you know forward ever and backward never um we were reasoning offline um a couple of days ago still zane and the 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 i was the i was um talking about the 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 relationship the the, the, the relationship between um the musical genres that you know we as a people have created and 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 um and and now a lot of us you know is is you know living off of this this these two genres which is reggae and and um hip-hop zim all right um yeah. the i was saying that you know these two genres need to come together for a specific reason Z, yes. could could I could I relate that um, to the masses out there? What 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 you know? What I did 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 um did I specify about? Okay, in 1937, Black Americans went to England, back England, to reason with His Majesty, telling him. They're not going to sit idly by and watch Italy take it over there. They want to come and fight. Black Americans, yeah. So, what can they do? And His Majesty, after reasoning with them, they agreed that a constitution for the black race is what is necessary to organize the black race, and then the black race can come to eat you up there as defense. All right. So, is the black American is the leader for you know? Let me just tell you that. Is the black American is the headquarters for we the black peoples of the world? Listen, man, them big in Africa. I tell you, they are them headquarters of the world. And when you check the world, Africa is included. So if Africa is included, that means the backside them they, they, they run all black people business. Right? That's what it is. Alright? So when Ethiopia, black people, See you on the next video. I just got the mindset.